How do you feel today, two years on from the midst of the peak of the pandemic, seeing what's going on in Parliament? How do you feel? Um, I think it's difficult because, you know, the Prime Minister is asking us to move on and, you know, start to address more important issues mm. that are taking place currently. Mm. And I think it's quite difficult to move on, like I said, when the person who you feel betrayed you is on the news every day mm. saying at first that he didn't and then later on being like, he's sorry. But it seems that apologies only come after investigation by Sue Gray, uh, civil servant, mm. and then the police. So it rings a little bit less sincere. And mm. um, personally, I think, I agree that we do have pressing matters to address right now. There's a war in Ukraine, there's the cost of living crisis, but I don't understand why the country has been asked to believe that the Prime Minister is the man to take us through this, because COVID was a crisis as well, and mm. continues to be, people are still dying. Yep. Mm. And he was the captain of the ship. And while the ship was burning, he was in his private quarters having cheese and wine. Okay. So right. why would he get back on that boat?